Megxit 2.0, Netflix ditches Harry. The $100 million deal flops. The $100 million deal between Netflix and Prince Harry seems to have fallen apart. Netflix is notably not putting much effort into promoting Prince Harry's documentary series titled Heart of Invictus, which centers around the Invictus games. It appears that Netflix has chosen not to continue its multi-million dollar content partnership with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Some experts have criticized Harry's new documentary series, labeling it as uninspiring. The Invictus series is seen as lacking genuine emotion and struggling to stand out amidst the competitive landscape on Netflix, which includes popular shows like Love is Blind, Selling Sunset, and At Home with the Furies. Despite these criticisms, the series does present a positive step by featuring Harry prominently alongside injured veterans, while Meghan Markle makes only brief appearances to offer her support. According to culture expert Nick Eady, this documentary offers Netflix audiences a chance to see Prince Harry in a more natural setting and to comprehend his motivations. The documentary focuses primarily on the participants of the Invictus Games with a light touch from Meghan Markle. This approach aims to spotlight the passions of Prince Harry and reintroduce him to the public in a more compassionate and caring light, which aligns with the desires of his fan base. The documentary's intent is to use Prince Harry's real-life trauma to create a purposeful narrative, shedding light on the struggles of war veterans. However, compared to other documentary series like At Home with the Furies, Love is Blind, and Selling Sunset, it lacks the same authentic emotional resonance. The absence of Meghan Markle in significant portions of the documentary also prevents viewers from gaining a deeper understanding of their relationship, which was likely a key selling point for Netflix. Interestingly, Netflix's promotion of Heart of Invictus has been lackluster. The documentary is notably absent from Netflix's homepage in the United States, as well as in Netflix Australia. Despite Netflix's usual practice of sending newsletters to users about upcoming shows, Invictus was not prominently featured in emails from the past week. There are even claims from royal fans that Netflix is compelled to release streaming numbers due to pressure from actor strikes. Some skeptics suggest that these streaming numbers could be fabricated, propping up Netflix's stock price. In conclusion, the much-hyped $100 million deal between Prince Harry and Netflix seems to have resulted in a documentary series that falls short of expectations. While it does bring attention to the trauma of war veterans, it lacks the genuine emotional depth of other successful documentary series on the platform. Furthermore, the absence of strong promotional efforts by Netflix raises questions about the true impact and reception of Heart of Invictus.